This is North Sumatra's rainforest, home to the Tapanuli orangutan. The Tapanuli are a new subspecies of the great ape, only discovered in 2017 in an area named Batang Toru. But with only 800 left, they are critically endangered. On top of this, a Chinese-backed hydro dam development is being built in the middle of their habitat. Although it will generate renewable energy, scientists and environmentalists say it could cause the orangutan's extinction. The project will destroy their habitat. The hydro dam will divide up the orangutan populations from each other. Cross-area mating is necessary for orangutans to sustain their health, and isolation will only cause inbreeding, which is dangerous for the offspring. Activists also claim an earthquake could collapse the dam. The project is causing divisions in the community, particularly in downstream areas vulnerable to flooding. Local rubber farmer Arianto guided us past security into the dam site to show us his former farmland. He says he cooperated with the company initially, but then they didn't pay enough land compensation and did not give him a job as promised. <laughs> I reject this construction project because they violated my rights and lied about hiring us. Secondly, the land acquisition issue is not settled yet. Talking to people in Batang Toru, we found that those who have been given work support the project and those who have not are against it or are indifferent. But very few people seem to care much about endangered species. As we walked out through the concession area, we were spotted by security. Heated words were exchanged with our guides for bringing in a foreign journalist and we were quickly escorted out of the construction site. Here in Madan, NGOs have mounted a legal challenge against the dam, claiming the environmental assessment for the project was forged. Supporting them is Onrizal Onrizal, a scientist from the University of North Sumatra. Onrizal says he warned the company of the presence of endangered species, but says they did not include this in their final report and forged his signature here on the document. Sehingga. So this document is not only biased, but false. Environmental assessment should be scientific research, but now they have falsified this. To me, that's an insult to science and scientists. Despite Onrizal's allegations, a court in Madame this month failed even to consider his testimony as evidence and ruled in favor of the developers, North Sumatra Hydro Energy, or NSHE. In the capital Jakarta, I met with Wimar Witola, the company's spokesperson, to ask him about Onrizal's allegations. Onrizal, Onrizal is somebody I don't care to comment about in terms of personality. Maybe you should investigate just who and what he is. People have, have motives. You have motives. I have motives. Let each follow the motives. Okay, well, your motive is to build a dam, which you've already been... My motive is to speak for the company who is going to build a dam, which has been approved by various scientific studies and the government and the people of North Sumatra. Okay, so you have a clear, your company has a clear motivation to build this dam. Oh yeah. Which is a financial one as well. What motivation does Onrizal Onrizal have to say that his signature was forged? I do not know the motivations of people whose character are not like mine. In Indonesia we have many of those. With an ongoing court case and the threat to biodiversity, the Batang Toro Hydro Dam remains mired in controversy. Much of the funding has come from the Bank of China, raising questions over the sustainability of the Belt and Road Investment Initiative. Jack Houston, reporting for VOA News, Batang Toro, Indonesia.